Welcome back. Today you'll see how to make your video the right size for YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or any other platform using the canvas feature of InShot. So start by opening InShot and go to the video button. You can either make a new project or go to an existing one that you've already done. I'm going to go to this one here. And it's the first option here, the one that says canvas. So click on there. There are three options you can choose. There's ratio, zoom, or background. Starting with ratio, this is where you get your video the right size for any platform. InShot is so clever, it even says which platform each size is for. If you want to make an Instagram square, then that's here. So you can see the whole frame has changed to a square size. Because I filmed it as a rectangle, it's just with black bars on the top and the bottom. Or we can make it more of a rectangular Instagram shape. That's back to the long form YouTube video. TikTok's shape is here. So you can see now it's the full vertical phone shape. And if you're doing YouTube shorts, this shape works fine for that one as well. There's a few other ratios as you move further on, but I haven't used those ones uh, at all really. The next problem is I don't want those black bits on the top and the bottom. So you can go to zoom. And if you drag along here, it gets bigger and smaller. But I haven't really used this feature much at all because you can just zoom by pinching your fingers around and then drag it to where you want it to be. Finally, the background. Lots of good options here. The background is only if your video doesn't cover the whole frame. So let's zoom out a bit. You can have a whole bunch of different colors for your background. Just slide along and choose the one, any that you might like. You can also have that effect where a bigger version of the video becomes the background by choosing here. And you can have a direct copy or various stages of blurriness. Or if you like, you can choose a different picture for your background. Maybe you'd like a digger. You can have blurry going into clearer. And there are several other options as you go further down. You can have any of these lovely ones here. So many to choose from. Once you've found the background that pleases you, press the tick button and there you go. Now that background is on that part of your video. You'll notice if we drag along, as soon as it cuts to the next piece of video, so from here to here, it jumps back to the black. So if you would like that background on all of your whole video, then that's very easy. Choose the background that we want and press on the double tick over here. That means apply to every piece like that. Background apply to all. It's just double checking. Yes, I do. And then press that tick to say finished. So now when you drag along, it has that background on every single piece of my video all the way along. Doesn't that look pretty? And if you decide you don't like any of that, just press the undo button until it goes back to how it was. So the next feature is how to add music to your video. And we'll go through that in the very next video.